98 FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Now, this Dublin story concerns the city centre of Dublin. Many of you listening, you spend a lot of time in the city centre. And uh, this particular issue is to do with begging and how it's affecting our tourist industry. Now, if you've ever been on holidays to a foreign city, you'll know how annoying it can be when local beggars are annoying you. It can also be quite intimidating. Uh, And Dublin is no different, it seems. I know when I was in New York, uh, the first time I went to New York was in the 90s. And uh, Times Square was a completely different place in the 90s. You had no police around the area. It was a very dark and dingy place. It wasn't tourist friendly at all. And I remember uh, every second person around Times Square was begging for money. And it was quite intimidating. And, you know, when I went there, I said, I'm never going back to New York. Uh, never going back there. It's, it's, just, it's just too intimidating. And then um, the mayor, I think it was Mayor Giuliani at the time, he decided to clean up the whole of Times Square, clean up New York, get rid of all that antisocial crap out of there. And, uh, well, that's the Times Square you now know. But it was revealed today that begging on the streets of Dublin has emerged of one of the biggest issues for tourists uh, who are visiting here. Uh, Fáilte Ireland has warned that the behaviour of begging is one to watch after receiving a lot of feedback from tourists who have been here. Uh, Fáilte Ireland's uh, Dublin chief, uh, Keelan Fagan, said that the city is still considered as safe generally and uh, security is not viewed as a problem. Uh, But a lot of complaints about begging have come back from tourists. So here are the questions I have for you, and I'd love to hear from you on this. Two questions for you, okay? Do you believe that begging is problematic in our city centre? Is it as bad that we're being led to believe? I want to hear your stories. What have you witnessed uh, in the city centre in the last, say, year or six months that you would see as aggressive, something that would turn tourists away. I'm sure you've experienced it. I want you to share your experiences with me. Text or WhatsApp 0877 98 98 98 or call us on 67 97 98 1. So that is the first question. How problematic is begging in our city centre? And the second question, more importantly, what can be done to stamp it out? Now, aggressive begging is obviously illegal here and non-aggressive begging isn't. But I want to hear your thoughts on how we can stop begging. Tourists, or the feedback from tourists is, we're not happy with begging. Uh, We love Dublin as a city, but we don't like uh, the the begging aspect of it. And that's what the tourists are saying. So I want you to tell me, how can we stop this problem of begging in the city centre? Text or WhatsApp us 87 or call us on 6797981. Let me go to uh, Ed, uh, because Ed, you're a taxi driver, so you're spending more time in the city centre than uh, a lot of us. Uh, yep. how, how problematic is begging? Uh, the tourists are complaining about it. They're saying it's an issue in Dublin. Uh, is it as bad as we're being led to believe? It's worse. It's worse? It's worse, yeah. I mean, uh, you... You get professional beggars out now. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of the uh, professional beggars you would see them coming in. Well, I would see them coming into town when I'm walking. They've been uh, dropped off at 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 our different sites uh, to uh, die for for a change around the city centre. They are absolutely they're unbelievably aggressive. In, in what way? Give me, give, give me one example of... of uh, if, they, if, if you don't give them the money that, you, you know, you're pushed, you're shoved, some, some of them go for your bag, uh, or you get them on the taxi line for any spare chain, I, I, I just say no. I mean, it, it, it's come to the stage now where now I, I would be the first person to put my hand in my pocket to help somebody who was, who was down on their luck, and I just don't do it anymore. I just say no, get away from me. So you're, I mean, you're, now, you're sitting on the rank uh, and your, your door is open or whatever, your window's open. They're coming up to you, they're looking for money. And when you say no, are they walking away or are they getting aggressive with you? They're, they're getting really aggressive. They're like, why? I'm, I'm saying, I'm sitting here trying to earn a living and you're trying to take that money from me. I, I say, no. I, you know, I, say, I, I, and I found myself getting into arguments with some of them sometimes and I just said, look, just go away from me. Get away from me. I said, before I call the cops, go away. They are unbelievably aggressive. Now, you also have tourists in your car all the time. Have you heard yep. uh, Have you heard tourists uh, discuss the begging issue in the city centre? I've center? had to separate tourists from beggars. What? In what, in what way? Yeah. Uh, trying, trying to... Uh, uh, this whole thing, you know, when they say no, they're being pushed, they're being shoved. 
Uh, some of them would, would go and try and steal their luggage. Uh, it's awful. So tourists coming into the city centre for a weekend away or whatever the case may be, uh, some beggars, not all, are threatening to, to, or they're attempting to rob their luggage and to take money off them. Yeah, pushing, shoving, trying to steal luggage, you know, uh, they're really in your face. Well, you know, surely they're, they, 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 they have this whole spiel uh, all ready to give people, you know, oh, I, I had a terrible life and... <clears throat> You can you can nearly recite it word for word now what they say, uh, Jeremy. You've absolutely no idea what they're like. I'm in town every weekend. I mean, I see now what I'm even starting to see now are beggars uh, uh, in the filling stations, uh, which is which is really intimidating. So so when people are putting petrol now, I haven't witnessed this myself. People are putting petrol in their car and they're coming up to them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're there. You know, any spare change for a hostel. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Anybody could be down on their luck, and as I say, I, I, I was the first person to put my hand in my pocket to give someone uh, some money that had been genuinely down on their luck. But I mean, there's one particular guy I know, uh, he's always on the taxi rank on St. Stephen's Green. And I've, I've, I've actually seen this guy get, get, get into an 08 BMW. Really? He's a professional beggar. Okay. And, and he's an Irish guy. And that is an issue. That is an issue for another day. Uh, the professional begging. In fairness, we we covered that before about how much they make. This isn't about that. It's about the aggressive nature. But that is terrifying to hear that from a taxi driver that tourists are being attacked, uh, being intimidated. They're having their luggage stolen. Um, keep those stories coming in. Uh, text or WhatsApp oh eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight or call us on six seven nine seven. 981. We're talking about a report in the news today that says that one of the biggest complaints from tourists visiting Dublin is about begging. That's what tourists are complaining about. We're trying to find out how to stamp it out. Uh, Michael, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Grant, you spend a bit of time in the city centre as well, do you? Yeah, actually, you know, um, I, started, I live in, in, in Dublin, yeah, but I had a really experience, bad experience, actually, when I was in Rome. Sorry, Mike, um, it's a very hard line to hear you on. I'm going to have to get the lads to ring you back uh, off speakerphone because I just can't hear what you're saying. Nigel, how are you? How is it going, Jeremy? How are things? Um, what do you want to say about this? Sure, I'm like you're a chap I drive for a living in in town, and it's just it's I I I do be sitting in the traffic looking at them all ready to gang up on. They're, they're actually picking out the tourists. I've got out of the car on numerous of times and told them to leave them alone. Left me car there with the hazards on and walked the people past them. It's just disgusting. Like, do you okay, give, give me the most extreme thing you've seen, just to put this in context. Because people, I'm, I'm looking at text messages here saying, this is all exaggerated, it's completely exaggerated. Oh, no, it's not. You can go into town in Sandon O'Connell Street for, for, for an hour or two, and you'll see how bad it is. They, they actually pick the, 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 the man and woman with the haversack and the, the camera around their neck, and they don't leave them alone. They walk up the street, and you can see the fear in the elderly people. I've left my car on O'Connell Street and took the chance of a fine or a clamp just to walk them by them. It's 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 so so set set the scene so here. Wrong. Set the scene here. This was O'Connell Street, okay? Um, in O'Connell Street, and the tourists obviously they stand out like a sore thumb. They have their cameras around their around their necks. That's it. Uh, yeah, you know that backpacks just the elderly. Uh, you know their shorts and their bloody hiking boots on. And they were they they they, 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 they were approached by by one beggar or two beggars. By two of them. And, wh- and it, then you've the one across the street, the third one that joins across at the lights and actually joins the three of them that then are actually talking to them. And when they say no, they're, they're not taking the no. And they're looking and saying, Jesus, it tells me, man, that. So I, I just got out of the car and I went over to the people and I said, excuse me, could you just leave them alone? They're just after refusing you. I left the car there with the hazards on and I walked them just not even to 20 yards just past them. Near the GPO, it's always happening and it's just so wrong. The, the, okay, well, like, what, 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 could, what could be done to stamp it out? Then, come here, Jeremy. If you, put, 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 if you were to bar them off certain roads, like O'Connell here or Anton, they're not going to listen. And no, the guys don't want to pick them up in that car either with the scruffiness and they, they, they just don't want to deal with them because they know they'll be back out and it's a bed for them for a few hours. Yeah, but that's it's what just, I mean. We, I've just been told, and, and this is true, there's always a guard outside the GPO, so it seems 
are they that brazen that they're that they're yeah, literally not a, not about it. it they walk by the guards i've seen the guards that stands there on the corner they walk by them still hassling them the guard probably doesn't know to hassle them or he does because if i know to hassle them he's a guard of course he knows but they're just too much work and like like the ATM machines, they were told to stay away from the and ATM And they don't, machine. no they don't. You walk up Henry Street and every ATM machine, you have three or four of them around and now on each side. Well fair play to you Nigel for actually uh, d- been doing a, a decent thing and being a good Samaritan. Uh, I was only buying donuts on O'Connell Street a couple of weeks ago myself. I was at that little donut stall uh, on O'Connell Street, which I don't know the name of by the way. I've been buying donuts there for years, uh, for just on a complete side note. There's a little donut stall. It's a, it's a it's a real part of old Dublin that has remained when we have all these American multinational Starbucks and all these places. There's a little Dublin, um, I think it's Dublin owned, I think it's Irish owned, donut stall on O'Connell Street, uh, which for the life of me, I don't know the name. But anyway, I was standing there buying donuts there a couple of weeks ago and uh, taking out money to pay for the donuts. And uh, one comes at me from each side, one beggar from each side looking for money. And you don't know where to look. And in fact, that's the point that you want to make, Susie. Uh, as someone who's in the city centre, you feel very intimidated by what's going on, do you? Yeah, it's not just driving mad. Like, I mean, even in the car park, when you're putting, when you're paying for your parking, they're there. It's like, you know, waving a plastic cup or a paper cup in, in your face. And it's like, give me money. You and do, I mean? do, you, do you find it aggressive? I just... I. Well, yeah, in a way, I just find it like, you know, give me money, I'm here begging. And they can see you taking money out. They can see you with your wallet out and paying for park and taking money out, putting it into this machine. So, yeah, I find it is very intimidating. And I'm scared of my life that they're going to literally get up and grab the wallet out of my hand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I find that- it really... There's a message from Craig. Uh, I was mugged uh, walking up O'Connell Street just outside Eason's. They really uh, don't. They really don't care. Now I don't. That's know. exactly my point. And there was. Um, I was listening to a show a few was a few months ago that that girl. I was on the news. Some girl was mugged on. Um, she's going to work and she was mugged on. Uh, was it Grafton Street? Yes, it was. It was the top of Grafton Street. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. That's uh, like that's the point that I'm making. Like I just find it like you have to really have to be with. You really have to have your wits about you when you're going into Dublin, like. So will you? Will you not? Does it put you off going into the city centre? Not at all. No, I go in. Like I go in tomorrow if I if I could. But I just, I it. You just have to have your wits about you. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, say there for a second, please, uh, Susie. I'm going to go to a man in a second who used to be uh, that person, used to be a beggar on the streets. Jeremy says this text, I drive a terror crane overlooking the boardwalk and they pester people non-stop uh, every day. Um, uh, Kevin says, let's be honest, we all know uh, about the amount of Roma uh, gypsies begging uh, in Dublin, says Kevin. This isn't just Roma uh, gypsies, uh, Kevin, to be honest with you. Um, this is... This is uh, this is, this is people from all nationalities. Uh, let me go to uh, Bobby. How are you, Bobby? How's it going, Jeremy? How are you? How grand? You used to be that that man. You I uh, used to be homeless. Yeah. You fell. You fell on hard times. Um, I did. Which can happen to anybody, by the way. It can. And did you find yourself begging in the city centre? I I have done it once or twice. I'm actually walking past the beggar now. You're walking. You're walking past one at the moment. Yeah, at the, at the hospital. And did uh, did he ask Romanian you for Romanian girl, a Roma girl? Did he, did she ask you for money? No, she just shook the cup in my face there, and so I just put my hand up. Is it to say no? Okay, so you didn't give her anything. Where is she? She's outside the matter. Is that where she is? Yes, she's outside the matter hospital there. Okay, first of all, uh, Bobby, and you, uh, you don't need me to tell you this. Nobody wants to beg. Sure, they don't. I don't believe no, anybody wants don't. to beg. It's embarrassing and it's um, morally destroying. But and Jeremy, I will tell you this: not eight or nine times out of ten. Any aggressive beggar will be a Roma gypsy. I don't know be, if that's fair to say. It, it is. It is fair to say, Jeremy. I've seen it. I've lived it. So you're saying Irish beggars don't, for the no, vast majority. No, I, I didn't say that. I said eight or nine out of ten. Okay, so the vast it, majority. The vast majority are um, Romanian gypsy, Roma gypsies. So what would you do, Bobby? Back in the day when you were begging, and you're say you're standing on O'Connor Bridge. And someone is walking by. Would you say something to them? Would you like how how do you get how do you extract money from somebody? Um, well, I I wouldn't call it extracting. I would ask politely. I would say, excuse me, could you help the homeless? And if they said no, they said no. That's that's it. That's it. I'd say thank you. God bless. Well, Bobby, I'm delighted you got your life on track, and it's great to talk to you. 
You too. Terrible. Thanks very much. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's Bobby's take on it as someone who has been there. And just remember that when you're walking by uh, these people, and I know it can be intimidating, but as Bobby says, nobody wants to do it. Can you imagine having to do it? The embarrassment, the shame of having to do it. Uh, it's not something I'm sure that someone wakes up on a Monday morning and says, you know, today I want to go out and I want to beg. Uh, I think that would be a great thing to do. Uh, O'Connell Street says uh, this person is a disgrace, full of addicts and beggars. It's a shame to see our capital city in such a state. Where are the police? Well, they're on O'Connell Street. That's where the police are. Uh, but I don't know. Is it more hassle than it's worth to arrest these beggars? You have to bring them down to the station and fill out paperwork and all that sort of stuff. Maybe it's more hassle than it's worth. Anyway, I just wanted to get that insight into how bad the uh, begging situation is in the city centre. Tourists are saying it's, uh, it's a big issue. It's a big cause for complaint. And from that conversation from the last half hour, it seems that it's even worse than we thought it was. Anyway, thank you very much for all your calls, your comments and your text. 98 98 FM's Dublin Talks with a